Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be solving the question Remove Duplicates from Sorted Array Part 2. So let's go through the question. Given a sorted array nums, we need to remove the duplicates in place such that the duplicate appeared at most twice and return the new length. Now we do not need to allocate any extra space for another array. We are supposed to do it modifying the input array in place with O1 extra memory. If we look at the example, it says 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. So here we can see that 1 is repeated thrice. In the explanation, you can see that your function should return length 5 with first 5 elements of nums being 1, 1, 2, 2 and 3. It doesn't matter what you leave beyond the returned length. So let's first understand the question. If you take this array given to us, we can fix these two elements as we know that we can have two repeated numbers. So if these two are repeated or not doesn't matter to us. So these two are fixed. So what we can do is we can save our time and start our iteration from index 2. Now as we are supposed to return the length of these, we'll take a variable or a pointer that would point just next to this so that we can return whatever number we get in this pointer at the last. This pointer will say that okay the elements before that are good to go and we are supposed to check the elements from here. So what we do is uh, we'll take a loop and we'll start from i equal to 2 and we'll have a variable having the index that we need to return that is our final index up to which the elements are sorted with numbers appearing at most twice. So what we do is since we are not bothered about what is there after this index so we can just override the elements that are appearing more than twice with the ones that is not. So we compare this element with index minus 2 and see whether these both are equal or not. Since here these both are equal this means that it is a repeated element and we need to update this one. So with what do we update? we'll find the next i that is not equal and replace the value at this position with that value. So we'll find another i. So i is moving. This is the for loop that would be moving on. We increment the i. Now this i is compared with index minus 2 which is 1. Now this is not equal which means we can replace the 1 which is at index which was repeating with the newly found i which is not repeating. So that's what both are different meaning it can be used to replace the repeated number and we replace this too. Since we are replacing this too now this box this many elements gets fixed and our index would need to shift. So this is what we will follow till the end of our array. So here's a snippet of what we will be doing. So we'll have an index 2 we'll start looping from i equal to 2. Why? That we have already seen. And then we check if the numbers are equal, we cannot do anything, we just need to move i further. And when the number is not equal, we can replace that number with the number at index which was duplicate. We also need to increment our index and at the end we will return this index. That's all we are going to do. So since this statement here is redundant, we can remove it and this becomes our algorithm. Instead of equal to, we can write not equal to. That's it. So let's quickly write the code for this one. So int index equal to 2 and for i equal to 2 till nums.length what we do is if nums of i is not equal to nums of i n minus 2 we replace nums of i n with nums of i and we do a i n plus plus after this which can actually be omitted from here and this can be post incremented at the end return i n fine okay so if let's write the constraints if nums dot length is less than three which means there are at most two elements we can just return nums dot length. Let's run this code. Let's submit this and it got submitted. So 
the time complexity for this algorithm will be O of n and the space complexity will be O of 1 as we are not using any extra space. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.